Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about where you should be writing. No, but seriously, like I had a conversation with somebody tonight that blew my fucking mind. Blew my fucking mind. I was talking to a writer who hasn't really written anything in a long time. So what she said was, was that she's having a problem writing because she works from home like eight to ten hours a day. And so when she's done with that, the last thing she wants to do is stay in her home office and work on her book. And I was like thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? Like I do most of my work, like my admin shit, my YouTube shit, all that stuff at my desk. And then at night I come in here and it's night now. I usually never make videos this late. And then I come in the kitchen and I have my wine and I have my smokes and I write my poetry on my phone. And then in the morning, I airdrop it to my computer and put it in Scrivener and do all the shit I got to do to it. But anyway, I was like shocked. I'm like, oh my God, I don't write where I work. And then I was thinking about it. And then like back in Big Bear, I had my little desk next to the window. And then next to that, I had a dresser that came up to about here. And I'd put my laptop on it, put music on, and I'd be like dancing all night and drinking and fucking typing away. And I was just like two feet from my desk. And I did that. And then I was thinking about it when I lived in the trailer. When I lived in the fucking trailer, I would do my work, like my YouTube shit and all that other stuff, sitting on that little couch thing with my computer up on a stool. But then when I was writing at night, I would either have the stool over by the stove or I would have my computer up on the sink and I would stand there and dance and type and shit like that. And then I was even thinking about the house before that in Big Bear. I had my desk where I did my shit. And then when I would write, most of the time, I would put my computer up on the bar and just type on the bar. And I was like, I fucking have been doing that this whole fucking time. That's fucking crazy. I never even thought that that was a fucking thing. There have been a couple times lately where I've been thinking, I'm like, wow, you know, how come I'm not writing at my desk? But it was just like a fleeting thought. Like, oh, I should be writing at my desk. Oh, well, well I'm sitting here, so this is where I'm going to do it. So the thing is, my little thing to you. If you do a lot of work in your home office or where your computer is, but the stuff you do there is like more admin type shit, bill paying shit, work type shit, it may really help you to have another place where you do your creative shit. It might like clear your head up, free your mind up a little bit. And then I was talking to this um, girl too. And she was saying how, like, there's another room in the house that she wants to start writing in, but she really wants to, like, paint it and, like, set it up and, like, really get it going before she starts writing in it. And I said to her, I'm like, look, because you know, she was saying, you know, for mood, you know, so I could get in the mood. I'm like, all you have to do is put your fingers on the keyboard once you're in there. So more importantly than setting the room up, just be in the room be in the place and start writing because like you could have all the mood shit up you want but once you start typing you're like tunnel vision like you don't see any of this other shit once you're in it once you're in it you know what i'm saying find the place you need to be and then don't worry about making it right just start creating in that place and then all that other shit will come all the mood shit will just start happening you will like be writing and then go oh yeah dude i totally want to paint this wall blue and you'll fucking paint that wall blue you don't have to think about it it doesn't have to be overthought you just need to find that other place 
to do the writing in. Okay, so that's it. Um, keep buying my books. Type hard, everybody. I'll talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.